Yo, yo, yo! What up, guys, and welcome back. We are out here at my lease, and I'm telling you what, this entire area, the marsh, my field, uh, cornfield about a mile southeast of here is just plum loaded with snow geese. There are a ton of ducks around my lease here still, and it just seems like every year that late season, that snow goose conservation period, it seems like the snows just plumb load up this entire area, and they use this marsh as a loaf and a partial roost, but mainly a loaf. When talking about snow geese, a loaf is when snow geese traffic in at that 9.30, 10 o'clock time in the morning every day to get that morning drink. It's just something that snow geese do. I've seen it a bunch and everybody I talk to says hunt the loaf or hunt right before the loaf in a field. Well, that's the perfect situation for my lease field here. It butts up on the south side. If you guys are wanting to, you know, get better at snow goose hunting and scouting and tracking the birds and trying to pinpoint them a little better, I'm going to tell you in this in this spring conservation season to pay attention to morning loaf ponds. Braden should be coming out to meet me. I'm thinking about sitting up in my field here. And uh, these snow geese just literally landed and now they're already up. So they jump back and forth and they're so sporadic like this. It's really hard to sit up close on a field like my lease. The last time I did this, I set a big of spread. I think I'm gonna keep it smaller moderate, more natural, less socks, more full bodies, and we're going to see how it goes. So, wish me luck. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to go ahead and start sitting this spread, see how far I can get by myself, and uh, hopefully get it up relatively quickly before these birds get off of the water. I don't want to let them see me sitting up. I really watched them this morning, how they were sitting, how they were landing naturally and sitting on their own. It's really important to see how they're sitting on their own. What's the shape of their spread, you know? So, we're going to try to match the hatch today and uh, make it happen. Well, I'm going to film from the truck because the wind is blowing about 25 mile an hour. So, as you can see, look at all the poop on the ground. I don't know if you can see all the white, but... This is some wheat back here, and this is a little mud puddle that usually holds water, but we're so dry, it is bone, bone, bone dry. Here in central Kansas, as a lot of you know, we need rain badly. I mean, we haven't had any moisture. It's been a while, I mean, honestly. The most snow we've had this whole winter was an inch, and uh, last year I think it was probably about two inches, so not a good deal. Oh. I'm so good at making messes, let me tell you what. Every time, every time, it's a, uh, every time, you know how it goes. Mess, every time. Every single dang time. But, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Wouldn't trade it for the world. Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I love surprising them with the camera. I try to get people as much as possible, like when they're not even expecting it, getting them with the old camera. We sat up the spread. It is now right on the money, two o'clock. 62 degrees. So we might lay out in the field, get us a nice tan. I brought some tanning lotion and uh, little heart stickers. But, uh, we just got some lunch, got all refilled and refueled with the truck, and uh, gonna go see if we can make it happen. There's only two of us right now. We were gonna have more come if we were gonna do a bigger spread. It's a really small spread, a lot of full body, but a lot of full bodies, barely any socks. We're not laying in the decoys, but laying right behind them. You'll be intrigued to see our little spread. It's pretty natural looking, and that's what we're going for. We have a lot of mature birds that are sporadic, and they're very cautious to decoys so yeah we are uh, in our little homemade blind here I'll show you what we did we took one of the panels from the a-frame just one panel and laid it at our legs and then what we did the little sneak peekaroo 
we took a decoy stake and put under there so it props up underneath our legs so we can fit underneath that bad boy like a sleeping bag. And uh, we brushed in all around us with some thick weeds. And we have a bunch of full bodies. We put out all the full bodies and we used some silo socks on this side only. We didn't put any socks over here, just on this side, just to show action on one side. See if that works. Kind of mix it up. Something way different than usual. We want it to look as natural as possible. That's kind of what we're going after. So conservation season, you know, helps with an e-collar. But before that, it's so hard not having that e-collar as help, as an influence to intrigue them older birds to get down. The older ones, the big fluffy white ones, they're smart. A simple setup is what we're going after here. Simple. What do you think? They're either going to give it up or they're not. So we'll see. Waiting game now. Yeah. Waiting game. I'm sweating and this in uh, old Braden's midget coat because I forgot my camos at home. Yeah, I seen warm, I'm like, I ain't gonna need anything, so I didn't grab anything, but we're making it work. Oh, it's a little, dude, specs do it dirty every time. Oh, yeah. Golly, I was, I think I might have let him just a hair too much, but we got him down. Specs do it dirty every time, I'm telling you. The thought single I specs. To, thought I had to back you up. <laughs> I thought you might have to too, dude. I was, I was in front of his head. I wonder if I need to be on his neck. He's a big boy. Got me an old speckle belly down. Am I leading too much or not enough? You're behind him. I was. You can see his tail, tail get hit. I wonder if I'd have put in the full and in the same way. I'm really surprised he didn't want to do it up there with the dark. Yeah. He came right to the hole too. Got old Speck Daddy down. First bird to do it really, really, really well. Um, I mean, he just came in perfect. Once he got to the edge of the kill hole, he kind of veered off and ran the edge of the spread. He was out there a little ways. I had a mid-range choke in, so I was behind him pretty badly. I just put in the full. I'm going to aim the same way I was because I don't know if we're going to get him any closer than that. So hopefully the full choke helps. Well, we got some more specs coming. We might have us a quick little limit of specs. That'd be nice. A little quick limit of specs. Going back to water. Oh yeah, shoot them when you can. Take them. Woo! Them boys dead. So me and Braden are limited out on specs. He shot two out of that group. I shot one, and then I shot the single before that. Now we have some candidates working. We are done on specs. <laughs> Take them. Oh, I was, I took his butt off on the second one. Yeah, buddy. Oh, we had that group coming. Look. White coming. Yeah, buddy. It's working. Nice, dude. Yes. Got some snows down. That's what's up. Oh, we got a walker here. And he is just running. Well, I'm gonna get him up. That that boy dead right there. That boy is Dunsky. Woo, holy smokes. So we got a little pile going here between the two of us. Man, the whites, the little group of snows that are coming, they are coming all the way up in here and doing it really, really well. We finally got this group that you see up. It's all darks with some snows. They're drifting this way, actually. Probably ought to shut up and film, but get in here, would you? <laughs> Look at what's in front of us. Oh my goodness. That is insane. See, so yeah, it's just us two, you know, laying in this itty bitty spread with that happening in front of us. No big deal. Wow. They might drift over here. You never know. Look at that. I mean, they're just dancing on the entire field. 
Well, we still we still have birds just piling in here. This is a bad deal. It's a good deal, but it's a bad deal because we're stuck. And oh, it's Valentine's Day and I'm hunting in an evening. So I got to get home to the wife. So we were planning on picking up early, hopefully having a good little hunt like we did and getting out of here. Well, getting out of here now, it's going to be hard because we don't want to mess these birds up at all. We don't want all of them to see that we're here, that we hunted them, especially shooting in front of them. We want them to keep feeding here. Got us a little limit of specs though, a two-man limit of specs. Check out that bad boy. He looks good. Dude, bad. Yeah. The specs are just... Specs did at 30. Yeah, every time. Every time, especially here in particular, the specs, every time I've set up, man, the specs always are the first to come, the first to get the lowest, the whole nine yards. They dedicate extremely easily. You can't really tell how wide that blob is, but I don't know how. I mean, I couldn't tell you. Uh, probably a rough, very rough just guess of what's sitting right there right now. I'm guessing every bit of three to four thousand. Well, back at the house here as you can tell, and uh, let me tell you, we've had a huge adjustment in weather. Now it is bitter cold. We've had an ice storm and we have winter weather on the way tonight and tomorrow. I'm excited about it because these snow geese, it should lock them down and keep them here. It's not, it should not push them north. They should stay right here. But if you guys missed the huge discount sale that we had over at Ducks, I'm sorry because we we're running 25% off hoodies and hats and stickers and shirts. But we'll have another one coming up. I'm not sure when, but be aware this time. If you missed it and you want something, we do have all the dope designs still available. All these designs I'll link down in the description below. If you missed the discounts, I'm sorry, but go over and check everything out. We shot a two-man limit of specs. Yes, that's only four birds, but... It was a good little two-man hunt. I love good little two-man hunts. I haven't done one in a long time. But if you guys haven't, go follow Braden right here on Instagram. He's a photographer and his stuff is legit. Conservation season has started. It's been open for only a couple days. We've had one hunt and let me tell you, it was amazing, amazing, amazing. If you guys follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, you would have known how amazing it was and probably seen how many birds we killed. Be expecting that video. I'm going to announce the e-call company that I'm partnered with. I'm going to announce a bunch of new information and you're going to see a crazy, crazy, crazy opening day conservation hunt coming up next. Be aware, be expecting a banger conservation opening day video. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. If you like these little two-man hunts, smash that thumbs up button. And let me know if you guys haven't subscribed, do so. I want to see you guys back here on the next one. Thank you for watching, guys. I greatly appreciate it. Have a good day. We'll see you later. Peace. Yeah. Guala, 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 guala. I'm living like it's not tomorrow. Don't know my style, won't let you borrow. You're thirsty, have a glass of water. I'm killing these beasts, I'll be more dead.